Welcome back to the Gymnastics YouTube channel. Today I'm going to do a little video to help with your front rolling. So I'm going to do different stages to lead you up. So we're going to start with the normal forward roll, then we're going to look at doing a forward roll to straddle, a forward roll to pike, and then a little bit of help for a handstand forward roll, okay? All you need is a little bit of space, um, a mat would be good um, so that you don't hurt your back when you practice. So I've got mine here ready, so as you can see, not loads of space is needed for it, okay? Okay, so to start with, we're going to look at doing our forward roll. So when we start our forward roll, our feet should be together. Okay, when we crouch down, our bum is close to our feet, our knees are still off the ground, okay? None of our knees should be on the ground. Hands go slightly in front of us. Very important part is our chin is tucked right into our chest, okay? So when we go, looking like this. To start the forward roll, we need to make sure that our bum comes off of our heels to help initiate the rotation. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is watch. So I'm going to tuck my chin in, hands are flat on the floor, I lift my bum up. And I roll forward, okay? When I did that, I am rolling on the back of my head, not the top of my head, okay? Because the first thing we want to do is protect our neck. So when I roll, by lifting my bum up, okay, and putting my chin in, I am reaching the back of my head onto the floor. So like this, back of my head, roll forward and stand up, okay? So the only part of the touches is the back of your head, then your back, and then you stand up. To start with, you might need to use your hands to push off from the ground, that is fine. To help you stand up, there is an exercise you can do. So if you start sitting on the ground, okay, hands on your knees, you're going to roll backwards and you're going to stand up, feet together, okay, without using your hands. So you can do that a couple times to practice your rocking, knees in and up. Okay, so when we finish the forward roll, we want to finish with our feet together, okay, hands out in front of us, okay. Parents at home, if you are helping, what you can do is stand in front of them as they roll forward, they reach their hands up, you grab their hands and help pull them up so they get used to not pushing off the floor. So I'm going to demonstrate another forward roll again. Okay, start up nice and tall, feet together, hands down, chin in, bum up, push, okay, reaching forward, up I get. Alright, so that is the forward roll. So that's the work on your forward roll, now we're going to progress to a forward roll to straddle or a forward roll to pike position, okay? So it's very, very similar to the forward roll that you've just seen. The only difference is, is how we're gonna finish. So we're gonna either finish in a straddle shape, okay? Or a pike shape, which pike shape is very hard. Um, my demonstration will not be the best, but hopefully you will get the idea behind it. So forward roll to straddle, you're gonna start the same way that you started with your forward roll. Make sure you have enough space to straddle, Okay, so here you're going to start up nice and tall, same thing, your hands goes on the floor, your chin is tucked in and you lift your butt up. When you go over the top, okay, as you come over the top, you are going to go into straddle position, finish here and then push up, okay? So, hands up, hands on the floor, okay, chin in, bum comes up, forward straddle, okay, to start with like this. As you finish landing in your straddle position, you're then going to push in the middle of your legs, okay, in your straddle, to push up, to stand, and land like this, okay? I will try my best. I'm not the most flexible person, um, but <laughs> I will try, okay? So forward draw to straddle. Okay, and finish here. All right, good, that's the first one. Forward roll to pike. I can tell you now I'm not going to be able to stand up. Um, I will try. Okay, but you've got to be quite flexible for this one. So same idea as your forward roll. As you go to the top, you stay in a nice pike position. You push from where your bum is to finish like this. Okay? So starting the same, hands down. As you go to the top, push. And then you push up like that to hopefully finish here, 
okay? You're all a lot more flexible than me, so hopefully that'll be one that you can manage. Give it a go. Again, I can't fully do it, so example, but try and stand up. So plank, push off the floor, and land plank. So moving on now to the handstand forward roll. In order to do this, you ideally need to be able to do the successful first forward roll that we did, as well as be able to control a handstand, so up to handstand, hold for a second and then come back down, okay? You need to be able to support the weight on your arms. So if you have both of those things, we're gonna look at doing the handstand forward roll. So to start with, you need a nice wall that you can put your feet on and obviously check at home, make sure that your parents don't mind that. To start with, I would suggest using a pillow, okay, so you can cushion your head when you roll. What you will need to do with this is set it up kind of like I have. You're going to put one hand on either side of the pillow. To start with, you're going to work on just getting up to your handstand. So by putting your hands on the floor, you're going to walk your feet up on the wall and put your tummy on the wall. So like this, feet on. You're going to walk up and then tummy to the wall. Okay, that is the first stage. You're getting your stomach to the wall. Once you are in that position, we're going to look at rolling out. So once you're in your handstand, Similar idea to the forward roll, we're going to make sure we tuck our chin right in, okay? We're going to slowly lower our head towards the floor. Again, we're not rolling here, we're rolling on the back of our head. So we need to tuck our chin in, slowly lower ourselves and let the back of our head on the pillow to roll out like we do a forward roll. So, watch and then have a go. So hands on, we're walking up. Okay, we reach the tummy, we tuck the chin in, slowly down. Roll and stand up. Okay, that way you've got the pillow to cushion your head. Okay, but if you're rolling on the back, it won't hurt at all. Okay, again, slowly bring your arms down, no big drops to your head. Once you feel comfortable with that, take away the pillow. Okay, try the same again with your feet against the wall and then slowly lower down. So, without the pillow, you're gonna walk up. Okay, slowly lower down and stand up, all right? Okay, so then we're gonna move away from the wall. Away from the wall, we've still got our pillow for our protection of our head. Okay, so we're gonna put our hand on either side. We're gonna try now to kick up to our handstand, tuck that chin in and roll successfully, all right? So, I've not got the most room, but I'm gonna try. So I'm up in my handstands, slowly down and up, okay? So when I've done that there, I've made sure my handstand was controlled, okay, before I've tried to roll. If you go up to a handstand and it's bobbly and you know you don't have control, come back down and then try it again, okay? If you have siblings or parents watching at home and helping you, what they can do is help get you in that handstand position and then let you roll. So you have a little bit more control before you roll out, okay? Once you're confident with that, obviously you're gonna take away the pillow. Again, you're trying to go up to your handstand, making sure you show control. So, you know, up, and then roll down, okay? So you're looking at those steps. You start with your arms up nice and tall, handstand up, down, and roll up. Right, fantastic work today on your front rolling. Hopefully you've managed to learn some new skills today, whether that be to correct and perfect your rolls um, or maybe to learn and try something new, okay? Most importantly though, make sure when you are practicing, you are staying safe um, and you make sure that there is nothing around that you can hurt yourself with or a way that you can hurt them, okay? Fantastic work, well done and have a nice day.